We've got a big problem. So we've lost 40 chickens. So we've been here at Thunder Canyon for the past two years and we've got a big problem. When you let chickens free range on the, as many acres as we have, number one, it's hard to find their eggs. They lay them all over the place. Mercedes will just walk around with a basket in her hand hoping to find eggs and it's every now and then we find a treasure trove. Oh, they're laying them here now. Oh my goodness, those are real eggs. Also, we've had a big problem with predators coming into the campground. Now they know the chickens are here we got a big problem when we've, we've lost 26 chickens in the past what? Eight in last week, and I know I'm down 40 total. So we've lost 40 chickens to predators, fox, raccoons, possums. possums. So I, I went and I bought a trap, and I caught four raccoons and six possums. It looks like we caught something. What did we got? Oh, yeah. We got a possum. Look at the teeth. See the teeth? Yeah, they're bad with chickens and all of those are in heaven now and they don't and the strangest thing is is that the possums come in and they just bite their heads off and leave them and leave them they yeah. just they just go and they, they break it's into rude. the cage and they kill them and then they just leave them there they don't eat them and it's just rude so i i kind of enjoy taking care of the possums but can you tell that he really likes these chickens for a man that hates <laughs> chickens you sure are trying to protect well it's them been a, a love-hate relationship you know i mean it started off with two two went to four to eight to 16 to 32 I think the highest count we had was 37. And it was driving me crazy, but now I believe, I mean, I love the eggs. I absolutely love my eggs every single morning. And I love the joy that it gives my wife. My wife loves the chickens. She absolutely loves them. She loves spending time with them. Hey it's guys, look at how much you love me. I love you too. You guys are so good looking. But we've got to come up with a solution and the chickens can no longer free range around Thunder Canyon which is a bummer. Some of our members are a little bit upset about it because they've really enjoyed the chickens. <laughs> get them, get them. You get a dollar if you get them. Come on, get them. But there's also some good things to it, which means that we're going to know where the eggs are constantly rather than have hunt them down all over the campground. But if things hit the fan like I think they're really going to, losing a chicken is a huge deal. That means you go without breakfast. Losing eight chickens? Think about all the breakfasts and the dinners that that would cost. 460 calories a day. Exactly, so losing a chicken's a big deal. But also um, the predators. We're gonna make cages um, so that the predators can't get in there. I'm gonna show you guys all around this cage behind us where the predators, the raccoons, the foxes, the possums are digging underneath the cage. And the wire that came with this thing is just no good. And so they're cutting holes in it, they're getting in there and, and they're taking our chickens. So we're gonna rebuild this or kind of customize this chicken cage behind us and build a house attached to it that's gonna be a good place for, we think, anywhere from 16 to 20 chickens. All right guys, so step one, we gotta catch these guys. And by we, I mean John. <laughs> These two are country chickens, and country chickens are very different from city chickens. Country chickens can survive in the wild. City chickens, not so much. The thing I gotta do is get those two chickens, get them into the cage. The plan is to pick the entire cage up, slide it out to flat ground so that we can build the sled, you know, to, to, so that we can pull this chicken cage around a lot easier. We've got four people here to help us. We got, Pat. We got Trina and we got, what's your name? Mark. Mark. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see how this goes. All right, you ready? Yep. Dun, 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 dun. We need to insert some comical music right here. All right, these are country chickens. These guys are shifty. Nope. 
That wasn't so bad. You did really good, John. You're really good Somebody's at this. Somebody's gonna be reporting me to PETA for that, I guarantee it. Oh yeah. That's okay, we're in Alabama. Ready? Yep. Look at all the carnage from all the chickens we've lost. Isn't that crazy? That's crazy. It's so sad. Okay, we're gonna redo all this. this I got some brand new chicken wire. I'm gonna run all the way around the outside and make better a quality. Bit yeah, so like, if we can rip it with our hands. Yeah, if we can rip it with our hands, the raccoon can rip it with their paws. I don't see the hammer, so I grab the next best thing. The cage itself is 19 foot eight by nine foot nine. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put sleds all along the bottom of both sides so that when we want to move it every couple of weeks, we'll just pick it up and we'll drag it with the tractor. Can you, can somebody yank that out? Oh, oh man, look at that. Here, honey, cat. <laughs> nice and easy. You ready? Right, yeah. See, once we put a sled on this, Marcus. Yeah, it'll slide easy. It's gonna pull right across that field. Snake's behind the tree. <laughs> hey, watch out for that snake. So we'll take this two bodies. I live now. I start to keep the traffic down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Nice. Right, so this is going to be the sled. John, this isn't even right here. Nice. So now he's done. I can kick mine to get it centered. That's this. chicken cock chicken on your finger. Chicken Too tight in that. Still good. Yep. Just see. Yeah. This might be a dumb question, babe, but what does that extra two by four do? Because the brake is in the center, when we lift it up, if we didn't put the scab on there, oh. it would, one would stay down and get stuck. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, baby. That'll pull, right? Oh. <laughs> so you think this stuff will work a little bit better? You ain't getting our chickens no more, baby. That's right. Mess with my wife's chickens? Yeah, that's right. You tell them. Nice. Yeah, put it right there, brother. Watch this. <laughs> yeah, except you've been doing construction your whole life, so they can just marry them. One of the things that's made this a little bit difficult since I boycotted tractor supply, we haven't gone there and we bought those first two kitchen cages from our chicken cages from those guys and we swore them off so they would never shop there again. And that's hard when you live out in the middle of nowhere. And they're the closest. And when you start looking at other companies that do ESG scores, Lowe's, Home Depot, they're all part of it. So we're doing the very best we can, try as hard to get product from companies that do not have ESG scores. And we got this from- Rural King. Rural King. We actually ordered this online. Mark helped me find it and ordered it. They, drew, they delivered it right here and I saved 10 bucks and I didn't support the rat bastards that have ESG. Hey babe, grab me a stapler, please. Coming. 
All right, babe. I got pink and blue. You gotta be kidding got, me. You gotta be kidding me. They get like three sheets at least. <laughs> oh, that's not easy. Let me roll up this way and get us what we're working with. What's wrong, Mark? You couldn't get that to work? Get out of here. <laughs> This is good. This is really good, man. Let's make sure we staple the bottom first. Yeah. That's the most important there thing. So can I can I start oh, like okay. um, hooking it to the top rail there while he's here? I think once he's passed. Who's on my air hose? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Teamwork makes the dream work. Tiny block under there. And then you got this. That's brilliant. Now watch when we drop this video. Look at the comments below and everybody's going to tell us everything we did wrong, everything we did completely backwards. And they're going to tell us. how ugly Mark is. <laughs> but we don't care. <laughs> Did you get them? That's all right. I'm going to respond to every one of them. how beautiful the person is. You going to respond to every one of them? Yeah, have some class. Say GFY. Gosh, I feel pretty darn blessed. All right, stop right there, Bob. Give it a tug. Pretty tight. Better woman, God engaged. Are we done with the roll? Yeah. Tighten it back up with the same wire. Goodbye, choir. Oh, wow, yeah. And that thing was so soft, I'd be, I wouldn't be surprised if we can screw right through that. I got a level. No, we're not going to level it. Well, then the eggs will roll. If it's not level, the eggs will all roll. Don't worry, Pat. You piss on one tape. Time where he was a builder, so. <laughs> yeah, at one point. There's a reason he retired. <laughs> There's a reason he retired. <laughs>
<laughs> Look at that warp. Honey, just push down on this right here. This side? Yep. He needs a pillow. Two by four back up. Get away from me, Bubba. Yeah, ladies, that one's mine. You can't have him. So oh, boy, no. someone's gonna get a splinter on that one. That's pretty straight, yeah. <laughs> Are you helping Sage? You helping build the chicken coop? That you mean dog house? That's right. It's a dog house. And who's gonna go in the dog house? Oh, that's right. Skippy. I'm not a dog. That's right. No. I don't have. Uh, I don't have ears. Well, not floppy ones. Wow, baby, that was impressive. <laughs> 85, what's half of 85? 42.5. 42 and a half and a quarter is 42 and three quarters. Okay. What's the rise in the run, baby? They need stairs and it needs to be up to code. ICB or ICC, which is the one? Nice. If they get splinters, they'll get Bumblefoot. So since that's like the only place where they're really liable to get, you know, everything yeah. else is pretty smooth. Oh. Babe. Wow. We added little welcome mats right here. Oh, yeah, that's nice, baby. You can do whatever you want. Paint it whatever you want it. <laughs> Put your little welcome mats, whatever you want. Yeah, we'll, want have to, we'll have to write welcome chickens. Oh. Cow. <laughs> you want it? It lives. Painting crew has arrived. <laughs> perfect. It's beautiful. It's perfect. Missed a spot. <laughs> guys painting inside first? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
Hey! Got it? Yes! <laughs> A smiley! <laughs> This is insane. This is like a chicken condominium. My girls are gonna be safe, they're gonna be happy, and I am so, so grateful, especially to all the people that helped and made this thing happen. I just feel beyond blessed, and um, I don't know what to say. I mean, I'm so grateful, you know? God is good. <laughs>